Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see top 5 ways to fix Windows Terminal not opening up in Windows 11. So before we start with the fixes, I'll just give a brief introduction. Microsoft's Windows Terminal is a command line tool that comes pre-installed on Windows 11 and also the previous versions of Windows. It gives a single window experience for the command prompt, PowerShell and uh, subsystem for Linux. If you want to learn more about subsystem for Linux, you can follow one of my videos where I have discussed about the subsystem for Linux and how we can install them and how we can use them. So the link to that video is in the description of this video and you might also come across this error that windows cannot find wt.exe error message so let's see the fixes one by one the first one is to use alternative methods to launch windows terminal now in windows there are several ways to launch the terminal application for example you can just hit the start button and then from here you can just search for terminal and this is the application you can just click on it if the application is not present here in the start menu then you can hit windows plus r key and it's going to open the run dialog now here you can type wt.exe and uh, as soon as you hit enter it's going to open the windows terminal like this alternatively the other way to launch windows terminal is by using command prompt or windows powershell so i'll show you both of these methods one by one so let me first of all open command prompt so just click on start button and then search for cmd and then just open up command prompt now here we just have to type wt.exe and hit enter it's going to open up the windows terminal like this in the same way you can click on start button and search for powershell and then you can just open the powershell and type wt.exe like this and it's going to open up the windows terminal all right so if none of the alternate ways of launching windows terminal has worked for you then it's time to move on to the second step which is to ensure that windows terminal is not disabled so now to do that we have to open settings so you can just right click on start button and then click on settings now on the left panel you have to click on apps now from here you have to click here on advanced app settings and then click on app execution aliases after that you just have to look for windows terminal it's right here and then make sure that this is not turned off like this it should be turned on and if it was off before and you turned it on then try to see if windows terminal is opening up or not if it still does not open up then in the third method we are going to repair or reset the windows terminal app now to do that you have to open settings and since settings is already opened here so i'll just click here on apps and then click here on installed apps like this then after that you just have to scroll down and look for windows terminal it's right here so once you locate windows terminal you have to click here on this three dot menu icon and then click on advanced options all right and then just scroll down till you find these two buttons the first one is repair and the second one is reset so let's repair first now you can see that the repair is done now you can try to open the terminal app and check if it's working or not if it's still not working then you can return back to this settings page and then click on reset as well it's going to reset the data of the app so once you are done with these two fixes then just try to see if the windows terminal is working for you or not and if it is still not working then the another reason why windows terminal is failing to launch on windows is corrupted or missing system files 
and if that's the case then running an SFC which is the system file checker can definitely help you detect and repair such damaged files let me just close this window and then after that I want you to click here on start button and then type CMD all right now click here on run as administrator because we are going to need the admin privileges just click here now once it opens up you just have to type SFC like this then space forward slash scan now like this so just type it and hit enter and after the scan is complete a message will appear indicating whether or not it found any problem on your system and if SFC has detected any kind of problem then you'll get instructions how to fix the error now after finishing the scan just try to see if windows terminal is working for you or not if it is still not working then we need to run deployment image servicing and management scan now to do that we just have to open command prompt in admin privileges just like we did before so click on your start button and search for cmd and then you have to run it as administrator all right now just type dism forward slash online space forward slash clean up hyphen image space forward slash check health i'm going to keep all these commands in the description of this video so you can directly copy it from there and then paste and run them like this so this was the first command now the second command that i want you to run is this one dism online cleanup image scan health and hit enter now it is going to connect to windows update and download and replace damaged files so i'm just going to cancel the operation for now but once it finishes for you then you can go ahead and start with the third command which is restore health and hit enter and this command is also going to take some time for the operation to get completed so you can let this operation also get completed i'll just close it for me but let the operation get completed don't close the command prompt and then after that just check if windows terminal is working for you or not and if it is still not working then the last solution is to reinstall windows terminal now to do that you can just click on the start button and look for terminal like this now if you right click here on this app like this then this menu is going to pop out and from here you have to click on uninstall this is one way the another way is by opening up settings so you can just right click on the start button and then you can click on installed apps then just scroll through the list till you find terminal now from here you can just click here on three dot icons and then you can click on uninstall now doing this is going to uninstall the windows terminal now we can just close this settings and now to reinstall windows terminal we have to open microsoft store so you can just open microsoft store and if you are not logged in into your microsoft store then you might be asked to log in into the microsoft store before you can install any softwares and anyways then after that you just have to type here windows terminal and hit enter and then this is the windows terminal that we were trying to open then from here we just have to click here on get button then the microsoft store is going to download and then install windows terminal for you now once it is installed you can just click on open button and hopefully by now your windows terminal will start working as it should so that's all for this video i hope i was able to solve your problem and if this video helped you then don't forget to mention in the comment which of the fix worked for you so that it can be helpful for the other users who are facing the same problem so don't forget to write the solution that worked for you in the comment section and also don't forget to give the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel 
I'm going to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.